UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres just met in person with Russian President Vladimir Putin, and he was on a high-profile visit to Ukraine's capital, but those circumstances weren't enough to prevent Russia from launching a deadly attack on a residential area of Kiev while Guterres visited the Ukrainian officials are calling the attack a postcard from Moscow and an insult to the UN. Five Russian missiles hit Kyiv immediately after Guterres and President Vladimir Zelensky finished a meeting, Zelensky said. It was an intentional affront to the global diplomat, he added. This says a lot about Russia's true attitude to global institutions, Zelensky said Thursday night. about the efforts of the Russian leadership to humiliate the U. In and everything that the organization represents. Guterres arrived in Ukraine after meeting with Putin on Tuesday, hoping to de-escalate the war and guarantee humanitarian aid for civilians whose lives have been upended by Russia's eye. On Thursday, Guterres entered the ruined town of Bordyanka, northwest of Kyiv, which was bombed and occupied. For him, it evoked the evil and absurdity of war. I must say what I feel. I imagine my family in one of those houses that is now destroyed in black, Guterres said. I see my granddaughters running away in panic, part of the family eventually go. So, the war is an absurdity in the 21st century. The war is evil. Guterres also spoke about the need to respect international law, and about being at ground zero, remarks that later took on a chilling aspect, after Russia sent a new attack into the capital. It is a war zone but it is shocking that it happened close to us, Saviano Bru, A.S. Before Thursday's strike on the heart of Kyiv, attacks on Ukraine's capital had mostly halted. The Russian military says it used high-precision long-range air-based weapons to destroy buildings related to the Artem rocket and space enterprise in Kyiv. But a visit to the scene found the most visible damage was to an apartment building nearby. The building stands next to a factory that makes missile parts, but also vacuum cleaners. Three bar hung down like strands of hair from the bottom three stories of the towering apartment building. Officials say the residence was hit by a cruise missile that came out of Russian-controlled Crimea and knocked out the bottom. One person was killed in the attack and nine people were injured. The blast killed Vera Hired, a journalist who worked with you. As government broadcaster Radio Liberty in Ukraine and who lived in the building. The news outlet confirmed her death saying her body was found under wreckage in the 25-story structure Friday morning. Hyrutz was also mourned by Israel's embassy in Ukraine, which says she formerly worked there.